So first of all, internships, working experience, get known. Make sure if you want to go into property, you prove to someone that's what you want to do. It's all about enthusiasm, knowledge, um, and ultimately excitement at the interview level and ensuring you approach it with that in mind. Try and immerse yourself in as much information and as much detail as you can possibly get around the players in the market. Who's doing what? Why do you think they're doing it? Above all, be straight in your dealings, whatever you do. Secondly, make sure you push the boundaries, because if you don't push the boundaries or live outside your comfort zone, you will never outperform. And if you don't outperform, you won't be wanted. I think go back to the basics. Think about, do I really know about the company that I'm talking to? There's nothing more frustrating for us than having somebody show up who hasn't done some homework. And frankly, the more homework you do, the better. Um, so that's the first thing. I think the second thing is show enthusiasm, show commitment. So read the journals, understand who's doing what, and uh, get out there and work hard. Get on the ladder, get a job, get into the industry, and then move around later when the right opportunities present themselves. Advice, I guess, get out there, get known, be remembered, and above all, everything you learn is important to your career, so the more you know, the more use you are to someone else. Uh, work hard, be enthusiastic, and don't necessarily set your sights too early on what it is you want to do. In the property industry, you've really got to promote yourself, push your, yourself forward. You've got to work very, very hard, and you've got to look for the angle that other people don't. A graduate, when he's looking for a job in the coming year, has really got to portray that to stand out from the crowd. All work experience is valuable. It doesn't have to be property related. Put it there and make sure people understand it. And then going forward, again, make sure that you become across as sociable, as approachable. What's going to make you different? Everybody's going to sit there and say how good or I am. Everyone's going to try and be as confident as they possibly can be, but come up with something that the person at considering you or interviewing you is going to think there's something about that individual that's different or better or stands out. One piece of general advice I'd give to every young person coming into property is, is not to seek to specialise too early because a lot of people want, you know, they want to become known as the best X or Y but the reality is that you, you're, you're only a specialist for part of your career. As you mature you'll take on other responsibilities and your ability to be successful at those will depend on how broad your knowledge base is when you come into the industry first of all. So don't get too excited about being the best agent or the best valuer. Take your time. Be yourself, ask lots of questions and look at things in a very broad sense and think about whether you enjoy working with these people. We spend an awful lot of our lives working and it really matters to me that I enjoy how I spend my time and I think that matters to everyone. So and keep it general and be sociable. Real estate's a very social industry. I think my best advice would be to know the firms that you're applying to. Start an Excel spreadsheet, list the top 20 firms, know the head of HR, their direct number, their direct email, know when their applications open and close, and generally know the firms inside out. Advice for graduates entering the industry, property I've learned is the ultimate people business. You don't get anywhere unless you are out meeting people face to face and making the contacts. Uh, and, and Having those contacts will get you the off-market deals and the off-market info that will help your, your clients and that kind of thing. So just get out and meet as many people as you can. I think considering working abroad or going to um, a global city is, is important for any young person to consider. I myself, I've grown up in Zimbabwe, I've spent five years in America and I've been ten years in the UK so I can speak from first-hand experience that it is a good idea to work abroad and it's good fun. If I had to pick a city um, I think particularly for real estate I would pick an Asian city, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Kuala Lumpur. The reason I say that is Asia is where all the growth is happening at the moment. Something which I've done in my career as a journalist in the property industry which is work hard and play hard. So go to as many events as you possibly can, network, take lots of cards, give your card out a lot and just keep in contact with as many people as you can. Manners has a place in every single part of the recruitment process. So not overwhelming people with emails and contact and unnecessary phone calls but I do think if you had an interview somewhere for example you should think about writing a thank you email to the people that interviewed you and the person in HR who facilitated that. Something short, no long essay about why you want the job, they know you want the job, but just remind them you're pleased you came, you really enjoyed yourself and you look forward to hearing from them.